Hi everyone, I'm Miss Sarah and welcome to Play K Storytime. Today we are going to talk about the seasons and what kind of weather you can expect in each season. So let's get started with our calendar. So who knows what day of the week it is? You're right, it is Tuesday. And it is Tuesday the 16th. Now what month is it? Valentine's Day just happened. You're right, it is February. And what season is February in? That's right, it is winter time. And what kind of weather can we expect in winter? It's cold, it's pretty dark outside, but we also get a lot of snow. So it is Tuesday, February 16th. It is winter and there is snow. All right, so in the winter time, as I said before, there's lots of snow on the ground and on rooftops. What else do you notice about winter? There are no leaves on the trees and it gets pretty dark early in the day and it's very, very cold. But it can't stay cold forever so who knows what season comes after winter? That's right. Then it becomes spring. What kind of weather can we expect in spring? Well, it warms up a little bit. It rains a lot. What kind of, what else do you notice? Flowers start to bloom. The trees are really pretty and pink and green and all sorts of colors. All right, what season comes after spring? You're right, summertime. Summertime is when is the hottest season of the year, and that's when all the trees and the flowers have bloomed, and you might go to the beach or swim in your swimming pool. There's lots of ac outdoor activities and fairs and stuff. And the weather is typically beautiful with the sun out or um, there are lots of thunderstorms, and it can rain too, but it's typically the nicest season. All right, what season comes after summer? That's right, fall or autumn. Something, a characteristic about autumn is that that's when all the trees turn red and orange and yellow and start to fall off the trees uh, so they can go dormant for the winter time. Uh, Fall is typically pretty gray or cloudy. It can rain, but there are sunny days too, and it can even snow, or it can be hot. It doesn't. The fall is pretty is a pretty wide ranging season when it comes to weather. All right, let's read our first book. Since we it is winter time, and we are going to be heading into spring in a couple of months, this book is called Goodbye Winter, Hello Spring, and it was written by Kenard Pack and published by Godwin Books. Can I turn my reading light on? Okay. Hello, winter night. Hello, snow. Hello from high up in the sky. I drift down, 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 down. I fall through the sycamore branches. I fall onto a husky's bushy tail. Hello, frozen pond. Hello, sleeping fish. Hello, we huddle for a winter sleep over a frozen ceiling. The wind sweeps away snowy dust.
Hello, glass house. Hello, I'm cold inside. The swaying trees through my glass panels are like tall, slender ghosts. The last logs are draped with snow. Hello, winter brook. Hello, rocks and sticks are frozen in the ice along the curving banks. Hello, footprints in the snow. Hello, we disappear as the snow covers us. Hello, trees. Hello, our thin arms shudder and lash in the rising snowstorm. Hello, empty nest. Hello, against the striking winds, my, trig my twigs stay together. Hello, winter storm. I howl. It is very dark. Good morning, orange soaked hills. Good morning, we glow at dawn. Hello, early light. I illuminate everything around you. Hello, slush and snow. Hello, in the sunlight, I soak into the cold ground. In the shadow, I stay still and icy. Hello, winter thaw. Hello, new leaves. Hello, waking animals. Hello, bright sun. I warm the land. Hello, budding flowers. Hello, bright blue pond. Hello, running brook. Hello, green grass. All over. Hello, robins. Hello, our petals blossom. The fish are awake. The streams, the streams run down the hills. Morning dew is on the meadow. The birds have come back. Goodbye, winter. Hello, spring. All right, what a beautiful book, guys. What kind of changes did you notice happening when winter was turning into spring? That's right, the snow melted, the sun was warmer, the animals woke up from hibernation and started to uh, crawl around the forest and the fields. There was dew on the grass. There was no more frost. Those are all things that happen uh, when winter is turning into spring, which brings us to our next activity. We are going to do a rhyme called Five Little Snowmen. Raise your hand if you made a snowman uh, this past big snow that we got. I did. And what kind of things did you put on it? I put a hat and a scarf on mine with a carrot nose. So we're gonna do a fun rhyme called Five Little Snowmen. And it is about what happens um, when spring comes, the snow melts. And unfortunately, all of our snowmen melt too, but it's okay because they'll be back next winter. So it goes like this. Five little snowmen standing in a row, each with a hat, a hat and a big red bow. 
out came the sun and it stayed out all day and the first little snowman melted away. Bye snowman. <laughs> all right, let's do it again. Four little snowmen standing in a row, each with a hat and a big red bow. Out came the sun and it stayed out all day and the second little snowman melted away. Three little snowmen standing in a row, each with a hat and a big red bow. Out came the sun and it stayed out all day and the third little snowman melted away. Two little snowman, snowmen melting, <laughs> sitting in a row, each with a hat and a big red bow. Out came the sun and it stayed out all day and the, third, or the fourth little snowman melted away. One little snowman, snowman standing in a row, <laughs> with its hat and its big red bow. Out came the sun and it stayed out all day and the last little snowman melted away. All right, and now it's springtime. <laughs> Good job guys, that was so much fun. And like I said before, the snowmen do melt in the spring when the sun comes out, but that's okay because we can always make some together next winter. All right, so let's read another book. This one is called Snow Rabbit, Spring Rabbit, a book of changing seasons. And it was written by Il Sung Na and published by Alfred A. Knopf Books. And like our last book, it's also about winter turning to spring and, this, and the season changing as well as the weather. All right. When snow falls to the ground and the trees are all bare, everyone knows it's winter. Even the rabbit. Some fly away from the cold. Who knows what kind of animals they are? That's right, they are Canadian geese and they there, there are a lot of them around here and sometimes if you look at the sky, you can see them flying in the shape of a V. Some have a long, cozy sleep where they live. Who knows what that's called? Hibernation, good job. Some swim to warmer waters. Well, some have a thick woolly coat. They can stay in the snow. Some gather extra food for winter. Well, some travel far to find things to eat. Some stay very still. Crocodile. Well, some keep busy moving fast and staying warm. But when the snow has melted and the trees are in bloom, everyone knows it's spring. Including the rabbit. And that's it guys. All right, what did you think of that book? What uh, sort of things that animals do to uh, stay away or stay warm in the cold, right? They hibernate or squirrels will gather a lot of nuts and they hibernate a little bit as well. And mice in their little burrows like to keep moving fast and staying busy, right? All right, so oops, this week we have some 
activity sheets to do, and you can find them at the library. This one is called Dressed for the Weather, and it has different kinds of weather here, rain, snow, and sun, and then different sorts of clothing items that you would wear um, in any given season. And so what kind, what sort of thing would you need if it was raining? You would need an umbrella, right? And so on. So this is a really fun worksheet that you can do, and you can also color them in if you'd like. We also have um, just a scissor skill page, zigzags, just to practice our scissor skills. And then we also have, oopsie, we also have a fun week worksheet called Draw the Weather. So it says use the boxes and follow the labels below and draw the different types of weather. So each box has a different kind and this one says draw a picture of a rainy day. And you would draw a picture of a rainy day and then there's also snow, clouds, and sun. And you can draw whatever you like as long as it, <laughs> as long as um, it is the right weather so like in the sun on a sunny day you can draw a bunch of flowers in the garden and stuff like that all right guys well it's been a really fun play day story time and it's time to sing the goodbye song now it's time to say goodbye say goodbye say goodbye now it's time to say goodbye i'll see you on march 2nd bye guys